Graduation season and a lot of teens are putting on a cap and gown this month. One local student, though, is turning some heads. His teachers say their jaws dropped when they first heard about him. I got a little heads up that he was coming. His teacher says she won't lie. She wasn't sure he had it in him to get this, a high school diploma. But last week, he got the good news. He'd be zipping up a graduation gown. I could hear that gasp of relief <laughs> that he took. It's like he took a, a deep breath, like, oh my goodness, it's finally <laughs> over. <laughs> so what year would you have graduated? I would have graduated in 1951. This high schooler gives new meaning to being a senior. Ernest Gillespie is 81 years old. Actually, you're never too old for anything, really, but uh, it just depends on your attitude. At 17, in 1950, he gave up school for a woman. Number one woman of my life. The woman was his mom, a single mom financially struggling to raise two children. He thought if he could get a job, it would help her. She kind of taught us to be self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Don't depend on other folks. Ernest made his mom a promise. He'd eventually finish school. Back in the day, he had all those interruptions, you know, right. fights and girls. Life distracted him. Jobs, children, and grandchildren. But he never forgot his promise. I read something in the Bible that stuck with me. And it said, never make a vow that you don't finish. Never make a vow you don't finish. And so we went back to high school last year. No, no, that's, that's, that's the reward. That's the reward that I fulfilled that promise. And Ernest taught others a lesson along the way. It's never too late. 81 means I got a few more years to go to do something else. Amy Holly, 41 Action News.